earth. And do you know, God so respected his offering that he used that same pattern. He gave that same pattern as a commandment to Moses. He gave that same pattern as a commandment to Abraham. And all to, through the journey, the Israelites and everyone until the coming of Jesus Christ. That same pattern was the same pattern Jesus came with. Can we get an hallelujah in this, in this, in this meeting? That same pattern, the pattern Abel had laid was the same pattern Christ had to come with sacrificing himself the shedding of blood that's the second way to give a prophetic offering setting a trend doing something that has not been done before doing something that God would so respect and call it more excellent doing something that your parents have not done before every time you have the opportunity of coming into the presence of the Lord look for a way to give something you have not given before 15 naira every day is no value it's no virtue 100 naira every day is no virtue. Even 1,000 naira every day is no virtue. Make sure you top it up. As every time you come into the presence of the Lord, give something you have not given before. Do something you have not done before. And in the light of the scriptures, can you now begin to do something? Put something you have not put into an offering before. Set the trend for your generation. Set the trend for your foundation. Set the trend for your children. And rise it up, raise it up and begin to prophesy into it. Begin to prophesy into it. If you have written, if you've you've put that into your offering, you can be on your feet, raise raise your offering up and begin to prophesy into it. Begin to prophesy into it. Prophesy into your offering. Prophesy into this offering, Lord. I'm setting a trend for my generation. I am setting a can you talk to God and say, Lord, I am setting a trend for my generation. I am setting a of course some persons cannot pray this prayer because what is in your envelope is not is not worthy of setting a trend. Can you say, Lord, I am setting a trend for my generation? I am setting a trend for, 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 for my children to come. I am setting a trend with this offering in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we bless you for the gift of this offering. Thank you because we know that as you accepted Abel's sacrifice and you called it a more excellent sacrifice, scripture says you respected it. Lord, we ask that you respect ours, Lord. Respect us as we give unto you today. And we ask, oh Lord, that as when we come, as we keep coming to your presence, we keep doing better. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. You can have your seats. The protocols will come to receive the offerings from you. And um, this is um, this is the account number. You could write it down. Please write it down. For those who are following us online, please do well to send your offerings to this account. And then those who are already seated, you can also send your offerings to this account, whether now or any other time. And then if you need the, the, the pastor's personal um, account number, this is not it. I keep talking about it. So you wouldn't send something to, um, to, 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 to the ministry in... Uh, thinking it is for the pastor so please if you need the pastor's account number you can get it from the hospitality unit and god bless you let's celebrate the ministry of the levites celebrate them as they come forth celebrate them
Can we rise up on our feet as we take some tablets of prayer? Thank you, Jesus. Wherever you are, rise up on your feet and pray. Rise up on your feet and pray. Shaben saka faruskete. Shake deke barakuta kai. Open your mouth and pray wherever you are. Shake paruskete talakubrete. Shake deke barakate ke berakate ke berakate. Zambe ruske tende leke berusa ma parisi. Shaparata kaparate ke berakate. Lembra sisi paruka pai. Shababaka deke barakate ke deke berakate. Open your mouth and pray. Shakes ketene birias. Shabaka beke deke deke deke. In Jesus' name we pray. We'll be taking some strange dimensions of prayer. Yesterday, uh, on Friday, at the month of transfiguration, a man of God told us that this encounter is going to be about fire. Psalm 104 from verse 1. He said, Bless the Lord, O my soul, how great thou art, O Lord. He said, Clothed in majesty and honor. Verse 2 says, He wrapped himself in light as garment. The Bible says, He spread the heavens as a curtain. In verse 3, the Bible says, He, he, he planted the beams of the chambers in the waters. Then it says again that if he, he, he move, he make it, who make it the cloud his chariot and walk out upon the winds as wind. But in verse 4, it says, He make it his angel spirit and his ministers flame of fire. Luke 3, verse 16. The Bible says, The one come, I baptize with water, John speaking, but the one coming after me is going to baptize with the Holy Ghost and with fire. The Bible speaking in Hebrews 12, verse 29, it says, For our God is a consuming fire. In Acts, in, in Acts the Bible says, And the Holy Ghost sat on them like clothing tongues of fire. The Bible speaking in Joel 2. The Bible says, blow the trumpet in Zion and sound the halam on the holy mountain. The Bible says in verse 3 that there is a generation of people, fire quit before them and flame of fire behind them. If you understand fire, you will know what I am saying. We are going to be praying about the baptism of fire. And this is how we are going to pray. That's why I say it's a straight prayer. We are going to be praying and say in the name of Jesus, Oh God, as I shout fire now, let your fire come upon me. And I have to train you on how to shout the fire. Because in military, you don't just speak anyhow. There must be rhythm in the way you speak in military. So when I say fire, you say fire. When I say fire, you say fire. Don't listen to me. Jesus said, carry your cross and follow me. It means when your fire is ahead of me, stop and wait and join us again. Don't go ahead. Carry your cross. And Are you ready to pray? Say in the name of Jesus. Oh God of fire. As I shout fire. Baptize me with fire. Somebody shout fire. Shout fire. 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 not gotten it yet you know don't say fire it's fast fast the bible says the word of god is quick and powerful it is sharper than any two edged sword the bible says his word is like fire in my bones so when we are shouting fire we are declaring the reality in our dna we are going to be shouting this fire listen this fire you don't say fire it's fire fire when i say fire it's a fire don't delay it don't delay are you ready to shout fire say in the name of jesus Oh God of fire, as I shout fire, baptize me with fire. Somebody say fire, 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 fire. Act 28 verse 3. 
me show you a mystery. The Bible says, when there was a shipwreck, and while Paul was going to preach, there was a shipwreck, and everywhere was cold. Act 28, verse 3. The Bible says, when they gathered his stick together, and they lighted fire, the snake came out. The reason why people are possessed is because they don't have fire. And when Paul gathered the bundle of sticks and laid them on the fire, there came a viper out of the heat. A viper cannot be in your family. It's because of lack of fire. A sickness cannot be in your blood. It's because of lack of fire. A foundational battle cannot be in your spirit. It's because of lack of fire. Generational causes cannot fight you. It's because of lack of fire. We are going to pray as a Lord, as a short fire, who refine my system. Listen. Listen. I hope you know that this encounter is changing. It's a different dimension of the encounter. As we begin to pray now, demons will jump out of people. Sicknesses will jump out of people. Are you ready to pray? Listen, our man of God taught us that there is a psychological dimension to prayer. As you begin to shout fire, imagine yourself in God with fire. There are two dimensions of fire. There is the fire, there is the bush. There is the bush that burn it that never consume. That one is for encounter. But there is a fire that comes to consume the sacrifice. And you are the sacrifice. And fire must consume you. So you will be holy. You must be purified. Are you ready to pray? Say in the name of Jesus. Oh God of fire. As I shot fire. As I roar fire. Purify me with your fire. Somebody shout fire. Somebody shout fire. 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 Shout, the roar, you roar it from your spirit, you activate that fire. That's why some people they just use shout to hold you, you don't know what you are doing again. There's no fire. I know what I'm talking about. If you know Tiri Abalis, go and submit my picture and say, Let me tell you, there's something I learned. A man of God told me, He said, Christianity without the supernatural. If you know how people have problems, you will carry fire. This evangelism cannot go far without fire. Are you ready to pray? The Bible says, Isaiah said, He touched my lips with a coal of fire and He gave me His word. There is a dimension of the word you preach. You are not preaching, you are not teaching, you are distributing fire. Apostle Paul says, Grace be unto you. He was not greeting them, He was sharing grace like gifts. Are you ready to shout fire? Listen to me. You people are me, you are not getting it. When I shout fire, it's in fire. Don't go ahead. When you are ahead of us, pause and join us again. Are you ready? Are you ready? Say the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. Oh God of fire. God of fire. Anoint my tongue. Anoint my tongue. With, fire. With fire. Now let's rehearse. Let's rehearse. Somebody shout fire. Fire. 60%. Somebody shout fire. fire. Let all the girls shout fire. fire. Let all the guys roar fire. fire. Are we ready to go? Somebody shout fire. 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 Fire.
This encounter is not normal. Somebody say it's not normal. You are going to hold the neighbor and we are going to shout fire together. This is the last dimension of the fire. Don't miss it. Our, our man of God is coming to release a pool of fire. Are you ready? Listen. You people did not know why Elijah brought down fire. Abraham sacrificed fire to God. Isaac made sacrifice. Jacob made sacrifice. But when it was the turn of Abraham, he said, Oh Lord, my forefathers have made investment in the realm of the spirit. Can you bring that same fire that Moses, that Abraham, and all the patriarchs sent to God and fire came down? There are times you pray not for yourself. You pray because you are investing in generations. The Bible says in the book of Hebrews, and Levi paid tight in Abraham. It means your grandson can pray in you. It means that sometimes you are not praying. It's your grandchild praying in you. That is sometimes you are not praying. It's your granddaughter praying in you. As you begin to shout fire, you are sending fire into the future to fireize any demon. Are you ready to shout fire? Somebody say fire. Ah. Say in the name of Jesus. Oh God of fire. As I shout fire. Baptize me with your fire. Baptize me with your fire. Somebody shout fire. 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 Fire.
fire that somebody generate fire Allah go bali to see bali to back and that the lack of a contestor can you find it to flame can somebody find to flame Allah go bali to see I am la gagada and don't bali to see that you lack of a little back and don't bali to see I am go back I am down by the Kobalita, Zadagada, Ayagada, Alokabada, and Kupalitiska, Zadagada, Alobaka, Zadaka, and no Lakika Gagada, Zadaka Gagada, Ladaka Gagada, Alatisa Patita, and no Mandaka Dosa, Zadaga, and Lakobada, and Lakoska, Zadila Dosa, and Gada Banada. Shadaga dosa, hello bala kaka. Shadaga bala, hello bala koska. Hello tisi bali kati kada kada kada. Ando manda dosa baki da, bala kubata. Shadaga kada kada, hali sabita. Ando bali kati sabala ka, akoka ka, akaka ka ka. Ando manda vanda, hali kuba. Shadaga dosa, ando kaya fun. Can you find the flame? Can you find the flame? Can you find the flame? Hello, Bala Tosca. The day of fire. The day of fire. Let it burn on upon us, O God. Let it burn on upon us. Your fire. Hala Tosaba. Haya Kosaba. Fire! Fire! Let it burn on upon us. Let it burn on upon us. Your fire. Let it burn on upon us. Oh God, let it burn on us. Your fire. Your fire.
مصطفى setting people on fire already there are activations taking place already don't get used to this atmosphere it's a different one it's a different one the Lord has gone ahead of us you're fire Woo. Your fire, your fire, Holy Ghost fire. I am not a mahas of it. My fire, things are jumping out of people right now. There is deliverance in the house already. Impartations. Hagaga da baga da baga da 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 da. Sadi balita baga toska da da. Enjanga kaka bala toska. Enzadi la tosa badi la. Endo banga tosa vidi ba. Enkaka kapa katoska. Enzabi le do vana toska bada. Yafa. Let it burn down upon us, your fire. Higher than the Savannah. Thank you, Father. Spirit of the living God. Thank you. Because we are going to pray. But I need to explain for the sake of those who don't understand what is going on. Ooh. Last month I shared with you. I shared with you on Dunamis about the prophecy that was given in Joel chapter 2, verse 28 of the outpourings of the spirit. And in Acts chapter 2, there was a fulfillment of that prophecy. And the Spirit came upon all flesh. All flesh. What that implies is no one is permitted to escape the fire. No one is permitted to escape the fire. But there, there are things I need to explain to you. Last month, is, it was on basically on dunamis. Please celebrate servants of God. Pastor Shemus, please celebrate him. Uh, yeah. 
Daddy Ola to you, please. Let's celebrate. Thank you, Daddy. We are glad you're around. And we had a team from uh, KSP or Sarah, right? Uh, please celebrate them for the first time. They came to join us for the first time. Um, I, I, I need to begin with this. Oh, God. This atmosphere is hot. It's tough. And, and I'm trusting God to still give you some foundation. Then we we'll launch from there. There is such a thing as the progressiveness of truth. Progressiveness of truth. In Old Testament, it was majorly the revelation of God, the Father. In the beginning, God. God created. So it was majorly about the God, the Father. Of course, at that level, the, the revelation of the fatherhood of God was not yet known, but they knew God, the creator. Please follow me carefully. So, um, as Trinitarians, if I, let me assume all of us are Trinitarians, we believe in God, the Father, God, the Son, God, the Spirit. Your understanding of Trinity should begin primarily with the revelation of three in one. I mean, three personalities in one, then moving to the revelation of one in three, then ending with the revelation of three in one. Follow me carefully. When I was in a teaching on Christology, I explained on Christophany and Theophany. Theophany is the appearance of the, 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 the appearance of God in the Old Testament, the mysterious appearance of God in the Old Testament. Then Christophany is the appearance of Christ in the Old Testament. If you study John chapter 1 verse 18, the Bible makes us understand that no one has ever seen God. No one has ever seen God. That means the God that we know has never been seen by any man. But when you study through the scriptures, you see that several men like Enoch, several men like Adam would have seen God. Are you following me to this point now? But the Bible says no man has seen God. That means which God was seen. That is when you have to understand the revelation of Christophane and the appearance of God in the Old Testament, which was actually Christ. Because we have God the Father, which does not have a body, so to say. Follow me carefully. God the Spirit, which still has no body. The only the body that can be touched among the Godhead is Jesus. Because he's the express image of the Godhead. Are you following me? So wherever God was seen, when I say sin, it's a tangibly sin, was Jesus. Whenever God, the Father, wants to reveal himself to a point where he can be touched or seen tangibly, it has to be Christ. So, now, I, I know one thing that goes through our mind is, how about Moses? Didn't Moses see God? But God told him to go behind the rock. And the rock was Christ. So, you cannot see God except through Christ. Are you with me at this point now? Talking about the progressiveness of truth. So, you understand, in your, in your understanding of the scripture, and, ev and all of this, you need to begin with God the Father, theology, God the Son, Christology, God the Spirit, pneumatology. Understanding God the Father, understanding God the Son as Christ, and understanding God the Spirit. Are you with me to this point now? Are you sure you are with me to this point now? So, as time goes on, God now began to reveal himself as a man through Christ. Christ being the very God and the very man. So prophecy was given that God shall live among men coming in the form of a man. In the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. Then in verse 14 now saying that the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. So Jesus very God, very man. 100% God, 100% man. Are you with me at this point? So as we begin to move on like that, you now see that when Jesus now came, he, he said another comforter is coming remember in the old testament it was god the father but not as a father but as a creator then progressively god the son was revealed that was jesus the man but still the revelation of god the spirit was not yet shown are you with me to this point explaining progressiveness 
Because there are things I may tell you when I'm teaching at a point. I, I may tell you that last month I told you that you don't need fasting to manifest. Is that not so? Good, good, good. But there's a progressive of revelation. That's what we are today. Last month I was teaching on fire. Today we are talking about fanning to flame. Because if you if you don't understand this, or oh, let me explain something I said briefly about you begin with God the Father, God the Son, three in one, right? Three in one individual personality, then coming as one. What we have to say that is um, also one in three. One in three is that all of these three they are one personality. Follow me carefully. Follow me carefully. There is a set of people that they call Mormons. The Mormons believe in three God, but as individuals, as distinct personalities, not as one. They believe in God the Father, they believe in God the Son, but they also believe God the Spirit, but don't believe that these three personalities are one. Are we know this now? I'm trying to address some theological matter now. So, now we now move to the point of this three personality can come as one. That means when you see Jesus, you have seen all of them. When you see the Holy Spirit, you have seen all of them. When you see God, the Father, you have seen all of them. That means one in three. Then you move from there to back to three in one. At this stage now, you are beginning to enjoy the ministry of the individuals. The ministry of God, the Father, the love of the Father. The ministry of God, the Son, the grace of the Son. The ministry of God, the Spirit, the communion with the Spirit. So now, if your revelation is first only on the three in one you may not really enjoy all of the personality when you meet the spirit alone because you have not moved to the one in three am i confusing you am i are you with me this point now when you get to one in three then when you see the spirit you are expected to enjoy everything that jesus can offer but he will say that holy spirit is unlimited jesus that means when you have seen holy spirit you have seen jesus when Jesus was alive, if he was in Kaaba, he was just in Kaaba. If he was, if he was at Okene. So Jesus said, it's expedient for me that I go. Why? When I now go, it becomes everywhere you go. So wherever you are, whether at Okene, whether at Kaaba, wherever you are, you can connect to the Wi-Fi. Are you following me now? So by the presence of the Holy Spirit, we can enjoy the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the Spirit coming on the Spirit. I will do this now. So John now prophesied, he said that I, John, that is Matthew chapter 3 verse 11, he said, I, John, indeed baptized you with water unto repentance. But the one who comes after me, whose shoes I'm not even permitted to bear, he shall baptize you. Someone say baptize. The word baptize is from the word baptizo, baptizo. What it means that if, if you are baptized, you are drenched in water. You cannot be seen. Immersion. Immersion is what we call baptism. He said, I baptize you with water. But the one that is coming shall baptize the Holy Ghost and with fire. What it means is that you, you are lost in fire. Someone say baptism. I indeed baptize you with water unto, unto repentance. So in, it must begin with the baptism unto repentance. Then you move into the other stage where it is baptism with Holy Ghost and with fire. Someone say Holy Ghost. Say fire. Then come back. Say Holy Ghost fire. Now I can't say Holy Ghost fire. Jesus speaking, he said, he said, another comforter is coming. When you hear the word, another means that he was one. He was one. So that means that whatever Jesus was, this also can offer you. Follow me carefully. He was praying a prayer. Say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. What it means that the Bible is saying that we have, there is only one God and one mediator, and that between God and men, and that is called the man, the man, the man, Christ Jesus. That means in heaven we have a, 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 an intercessor that is in heaven. And the Bible is speaking in, please follow me carefully, Romans 8, he said, verse 26, he said, we do not know how we should pray, but we have. 
we have the Holy Spirit who intercedes, intercedes for us with groanings that cannot be uttered. That means we have an intercessor on earth and also an intercessor in heaven. Therefore, it will be on earth as it is in heaven. So we have the privilege of enjoying the ministry of an intercessor in heaven and the ministry of an intercessor here on earth. Are you with me to this point? Are you with me to this point? Luke chapter 4, 14 verse, I mean 12 verse 49. Luke chapter 12, verse 49. The oh, glory. Ooh. Jesus. Oh, glory. Please, sorry for that. I, I'm trusting God to Luke 12. Verse 49. I am come to send fire on the earth. So Jesus already has spoken that. His assignment was to send fire. Someone say fire. Hmm. Why is it fire? Why not water? Remember in Acts of Apostles, when the Holy Ghost came, it came and rested on each of them as a cloven like us of fire. A tongue of fire rested on each of them, not water. What is so significant about fire? Fire is, fire can be replicated, can be reproduced. So when you, something is on fire and you take fire from an object and you set another object on fire it is that same quality of fire fire does not reduce in quality so if if i receive fire of the holy ghost and you also receive the fire of the holy ghost the same fire the same fire upon general also faith is the same fire we are carrying because if 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 like oh i wish i could use candle here when there is when you use there's fire on the candle and you use another candle to take fire. You know the same quality. Does it reduce? Does the fire on the other candle reduce? It does not reduce. So we have the privilege of enjoying the same kind of fire. Are you with me at this point now? So that is one of the benefits. One of the, one of the characteristics of fire is that fire is untamable. It's untamable. When it, when it has been fanned to flame, it cannot be tamed. As a point, there's a point fire gets that even when you pour water on it, it still explodes. When it has reached the level of flame. One of the things you need to know about fire is that fire attracts. Fire does not need advertisement. It, is, it, it, it has a, the, the power and the characteristics of self advertisement John Wesley was asked what is his secret he is a man who will get to a land without poster without anything and people gather they asked him what's your secret he said I, 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 I born and people come to wash I born and people come to wash when you are really on fire you don't need too much advertisement you don't need too much advertisement I was teaching this some time ago. I mean, that was last Sunday on, on uh, super, Supernatural Manifestation Simplified. And I was explaining that, see, this is, this is you of trying. When you say, I want, to, I want to impact a land and you start producing flyer. No, that's not how it works. You bring somebody close to you, set the person on fire. That person goes to set another person on fire. The same quality of fire is as it spreads. People begin to say, where, it, where are these people coming from? Then they gather. That is the easiest way to do ministry. Just one person on fire is enough. That person says another person on fire. And that person says another person on fire. Then the job is done. It works faster than posters. Fire attracts. Fire refines. One of the characteristics of fire is refinement. Malachi chapter 3 verse 2. Refinement.
but who may abide the day of his coming and who shall stand when he appeared for he is like a refiner's fire and like a fuller soap a refiner's fire one of the things fire does is to refine is to refine it burns out the dross impurities when you are set on fire addictions are burned away addictions are addressed when you know you know what happens that the, the, the best way to explain this to you is is stove you know stove has the ability to burn it has the ability to generate heat but cockroaches can be pushing on it flies can be pushing on it sicknesses can be pushing on it addictions can be pushing on it but the, the, but the guy is already born again no being born again is not enough being born again is only the baptism of water unto repentance so that's why you now see that you see some christians they are suffering from addiction some christians are suffering from oppression they are suffering from evil habits and they, they are wondering that i thought i am already born again how come i still suffer from oppression the reason is this you have only been baptized by water unto repentance there is another level of baptism you need the baptism of fire so what happens is that as soon as a stove is set on fire he receives dunamis somebody say dunamis i can say dunamis now at that point you receive power but it's not enough last month i made it look as if it was enough <laughs> but it was, it's not enough why listen carefully when you study the book of acts chapter 4 even after the baptism of the spirit that happened in acts chapter 2 they were still fanning it to flame they were still praying the bible says that they came together and they were praying they were filled with the spirit and the place shook again like it happened on the day of pentecost are you feel what i'm saying now so now the fire is in the is on the stove or it's in the the stove has been set on fire but the cockroaches are still hanging around why the heat has, has not circulated it has not circulated so the longer the fire the more the heat spreads so you know you know see that sometimes what on the some of the things some of us do is this they set it on fire maybe they come for a program they just set it on fire for two minutes they're off it but it's a stove it is already born again it has the ability to burn but it has not burned for long so they set on fire again they remove it maybe three minutes they're off it it's not enough i'm trusting god to simplify this for because i know we have different levels of understanding i want to explain to you why we have to pray for long we have to pray for long to keep the fire burning for long to generate heat like what just happened just now as we we're praying several things would have been out addictions would have been burnt out why we took out time to generate i wish god would grant me time today because one of my fantasies today is to make you pray for one hour non-stop i don't know how it's going to happen now but if i can make you pray for one hour today non-stop man i'll leave you a fulfilled man because when we do that what will happen here will be more stronger and more impactful than when i lay hands on you why heat will generate we'll start generating heat heat you now discover that now let me show you something acts chapter 28 verse 3 where he touched let me show you something Acts 28 verse 3 and when Paul had gathered a bundle of sticks and laid them on the fire there came a viper out of the heat and fastened on his hands how did it happen fire that means all of those times the viper was hidden until the place was set on fire 
So you notice that the more we pray, now, now I, I don't know what is it about this until I study scripture. I noticed that some years back, I started noticing this thing from years back. When I saw that there was one time we had 30 days prayer. 30 days. I can't remember. Some years around 2000 and 2000 or there about 12 or there about. And we were having 30 days of prayer non stop. That means we are meeting every day to pray. Even a child of seven years old started manifesting the prophetic. I was surprised. But it was not looking so obvious to me yet until some we had something that we last year 40 days prayer you notice that people begin to the gifts of the spirit started being activated then i started asking myself what is it about this consistent prayer consistent retreat i discovered that praying for for listen follow me carefully for praying for two hours breaking two hours and praying for another two hours, breaking for two hours, praying for another two hours, breaking for two hours, praying for another two hours. How many hours do we have there? Did you follow me? Two hours you break for two hours. So under two hours you break for two hours. Under two hours you break for two hours. How many? Six hours. But you broke for two hours, right? Do you know that it's not as powerful as praying consistently for four hours? That one was how many hours? Six hours, right? And you, but you were able to, you were breaking them. It's not as powerful as praying collectively at once for four hours. Why? Heat. Heat. I have seen this thing work. <laughs> it, it works. That if you, if you can keep people praying for long, for long, for hours, you will see things that laying on of hands cannot do. Last week, we last, I mean, last Wednesday, we had seven hours marathon. I, I enjoy those things now because I know the power of such. So, you, some of you should now know why you are having the struggles you have. Some of you just pray for 30 minutes, you just break. Some people, they so bad that they go pray for one hour today and for another one week. At that point, things for don't spoil. Because you, you know what it means that you put food on fire, right? You put food on fire, the thing born to some, I mean, it cooks to some point. If it takes two hours to be done, and you keep it on stove for one hour, you now say, okay, let me wait till tomorrow I will continue. What will happen for that, to that food? I said, what will happen to the food? It will spoil. That's what happens to some people. They just they just born to some point then they now say let me use one week to rest when you will come back you are warming a Sabbath food consistently fire exposes it exposes demonic manipulations it exposes demonic manipulations If you are if you are into deliverance, the easiest way to get it done is to set the place on fire, on fire, and leave it like that. Everything will be done, the job will be done. So sometimes people just want to waste their time laying hands, laying hands, laying hands. It takes time. It takes time. Like here today, you see some of you you don't know what happened to you. You don't know. You just discover that this the addiction is gone. It will take you one week to discover that it is gone. Like, I'm not having this thing again. I have met several people who have told me, say, sir, I am having struggles with addiction. I'm having masturbation. I'm I say, just come. Don't worry. We don't need to lay hands on you. All you need is come for marathon. Come for prayer therapy. Come, for, come to those kind of places. You will be worship and what feast. Come to those kind of places. When that, when that addiction is subjected to the x-ray of the spirit, it burns out naturally. You just remember that, ah, I thought I had this problem. I have seen not just one, not two, not three, not four. I didn't pray for them. I, they just got exposed to fire. Just fire. 
So the problem some people have is that they stay in their room and say, Lord, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me. No, that's not enough. <laughs> that's not enough. One of the things fire does is it, it addresses hidden issues. Now, let me explain what that means. For instance, you could have a problem, a sickness in you that you're not even aware of. But when you stay in a place of fire, it burns away. It burns away. Especially, for instance, when you are from a family that has a negative pattern. You remember I did a teaching on pattern some time ago? Negative pattern. And you stay in a place, perhaps, is a seasonal sickness. Or have something that is waiting for you in the future. A lady could be buried and not aware. Because she's not, she's not yet married. Are you understanding? So, because she stays in an environment of fire, stays in the place of fire, so, somehow, supernaturally it is addressed. So she, she gets married and she discovers she's giving birth. So nobody ever told her that she was once barren because it was addressed long time ago. Those are the things we enjoy when we expose ourselves to places where the fire of God is. It addresses unknown issues. Let it burn down upon us, your fire. The fire of God stirs the gift of the Spirit. It stirs the gift of the Spirit. I have observed over these years how people begin to operate in different gifts of the Spirit whenever we have a time to pray for long. Whenever we have the time to, especially when we have retreat and we have long programs, I mean of prayer, people begin to operate in the gift of the Spirit. But there's something that has to happen. When we stop the retreat, those things shut down. Why? They don't know how to find it. They don't know how to find it. Somebody was asking me, he was telling me that he says, sir, my prayer life, I don't know what is happening to my prayer life. My prayer life is going down. I cannot pray. I said, whose, whose prayer life is not going down? <laughs> whose prayer life is not going down? My own prayer life too is going down. <laughs> the guy was surprised. I said, yes, my prayer life too goes down. But the difference is that I find it. I find it. You leave me the way. That's why if, if you have left Christianity to the day of Pentecost, it would have died. It would have died. Why we still have Christianity is that after Acts chapter 2, Acts chapter 4, they were still finding it. So you must always set yourself on fire. Always. This is not my message. John, just follow me. <laughs> this is my message. Why are you getting blessed? Everybody prayer lives goes down. To do the mind. But I find it. I'll tell you a few ways to find. I find it. So you don't see, look as if I'm a special person. No. Where is your fan? Where is your fan? After the no, some people I told you last last week rather. I know it's looking like last week, last encounter, that all speaking in tongues is a matric number. It shows that you've been admitted, but it's not enough. Jesus was baptized, but after baptism, he was led into the wilderness to go and fan. So he would have said, oh, I've been baptized. He would have just stayed there and be moving about. After the baptism by true John, and remember, how do I know it was baptized? Now, he was baptized of water and of the Holy Ghost because the Spirit came upon him in form of a dove and God the Father also spoke. So he received the baptism. Somebody may ask me, does Jesus speak in tongues? When you receive baptism of the Holy Ghost, what do you do? Oh, so you were thinking that all oh, Jesus is praying, Father, I love you, Father, thank you. And you, the, the, <laughs> you think that's how he was praying? He has the baptism of the Spirit. And the evidence of the baptism is speaking in tongues. 
So after that, in Matthew chapter 4, the Bible says that they, and the Spirit of the Lord led him into the wilderness. So he fasted for 40 days. He prayed for 40 days. So the issue some of us have is that after the baptism, we're not led into the wilderness. So we go about showing our matric number. What is the difference with that? This one, he'll be speaking in tongues. Hmm? Oh no. Have you noticed one now? But there is something that is lacking is power. There is another level of power. There is another level of power. Because the Bible says when he, after fasting for 40 days and praying for 40 days, he came out with the power of the Holy Ghost that his fame went abroad. It was then he began to do things. I you feeling to this point now? There are different ways to fan to flame. I want to rush this thing so that we can, oh God, so that we can really press. There are diff different ways to fan to flame. Oh, glory. Number one is through revelation. Some say revelation. I can't say revelation. I just have to be around you. Revelation. And they spoke to one another that our heart not born while he spoke to us. And while he opened unto us the scriptures, that our hearts not born. So what Jesus was doing was he was releasing the word and their hearts were set on fire. Why? He says, my word not like a fire. And as a hammer that breaks rocks into pieces like a fire that means wherever the word is released and your heart is not set on fire check what happened to the temperature because ideally revelation should set you on fire so as when you notice that your fire is beginning to beginning to go down what should you do look for the scriptures begin to study the scriptures begin to study the scriptures and sometimes you may have to look for messages that set you on fire. Are you know what I'm saying? There are, there are messages that I, I can't delete on my phone. They are always there. I shared some of them with you. Those on mentorship recently. One might by T.L. TL Osborne. Um, another one by Benin Hinn. These messages are powerful messages. That T.L. Osborne phone, I've been listening to it. The servant of God was speaking recently. He said there are, mess there are messages he has listened to in over seven, several thousand time of times. S more than one thousand, in fact. One message. So, if for instance, it's not easy to find such, mes such messages. When you find a message that whenever you listen to that, it sets you on fire, keep it somewhere. These are the woods that you need around your altar. So, whenever you notice, just listen to it. I'm blasting tongue with it again. Because if you leave it, you know, when someone says that, I, I, I can't pray until I'm, I am led. I am led by the Spirit. I'm telling you, you may be too cold to be led. So you have to put a system, an ecosystem of sustainability around your spirit. Around your spirit. To always set you on fire. Revelation is one. Number two. Association, someone say association. And the prophet of the Lord told Samuel, He said, Go as you get there, you see some, you see a company of prophets, join them, join them. And as soon as he made it in first Samuel chapter 10, 9 to 11, we may not be able to read that because of time. As soon as he joined them, even Saul began to prophesy. And they now wonder, Is Saul the son of Kish also one of the prophets? No. It's called environmental anointing. Environmental anointing. That there are places you come to by the reason of fire in that place, you are on fire. You are set on fire. Intentionally, you decide to go there yourself. There are two steps in life. The other steps and the intentional steps. Other steps is when God himself orders your step. Or unknowingly, or mean unknowingly you, he could just order you to a program. And that program becomes an activator of dimensions in your spirit. God was the one that ordered your steps. But after divine ordering of your steps, 
you by yourself have to have to intentionally intentionally order your steps there order your steps there I was help, trying to help a young thing last week or last two weeks there about he, 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 the same problem. His prayer life is down. Spiritual life is almost zero. And I asked him, which, which, which fellowship are you part of? No fellowship? Who are your friends now? Do you belong to a group of guys? You guys? Pray? No? I said, come on. Uh, you're surprising me. On a normal day, you should not be on fire. How, how come you are expecting? Because me, do I survive like that? Do I survive like that? As iron sharpens iron, so a man sharpens the countenance. You lighten up the countenance of your friend. Iron sharpens iron. How can you be an iron? Your best friend is a wood. Your best friend is a wood. Iron sharpens iron. Intentionally, you surround yourself with some strategic people. Intentionally. There is such a thing as unintentional, unintended impartation. Whereby the reason of the people you hang around with, I'm telling you. I feel I'm For instance, when you are surrounded by people operating in the gift of the spirit, you may not have any gift though, but the thing begins to happen to you. Those of you that attend I mean, our prayers or some of the rest, it is very difficult now not to have a supernatural encounter. It's, it's a normal thing now. I was somewhere recently and a brother was telling others. He was saying, he said, Sophia Financial is a place of normal, you know, supernatural thing is just uh, like water. Angelic encounters, all of these things are normal things here. So you yourself may not even have it, but it's called environmental anointing. Do you have friends that when you discuss with, you are like, oh, I have not started. I have not started. There was one point in my life when my, my, my prayer life was going somehow. I was going somehow and I was as I was sleeping at night I saw myself setting fire setting fire you know when you like stove you know like setting fire I mean like I mean what was that th those three stones that I used to set fire I was doing that bringing wood together I was trying to light it up with matches it was not lighting up I tried to light up with matches not lighting up so I now saw two of my friends standing at the door looking at me when I came back I knew what it means. While in the vision, I was trying to set the wood on fire. It was not, the fire was not coming up. And I saw those two, my, my two friends. These are prayer machines. These guys are prayer machines. I just knew where my problem was coming. I knew my problem was lack of prayer. That was a symbol that was used. But I was blessed to even have friends God could use to speak to me. I don't know. What if I have no friends? association people that after meeting them you just know man that i can't be left behind i can't be left behind i have some friends I, 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 anytime i just need to just uh, bubble some things in my spirit i just call just gisting gisting ah it's just to live there and go and capacity because you would have heard things that man these guys are on the move the reason why some people are not pressing is because almost all their, all their friends, all their friends are not born again. If your friends are not born again, then what are we even talking about? Association. Someone says association. Number three, engaging in retreats. Ways to find engaging in retreats. Mark chapter 1, verse 35. Mark 1, 35. If you have time, go and read Genesis 28, 10 to 19. Well, the Bible was speaking of, of Jacob, how he had to separate himself to the place of prayer. Place of retreat. And in the morning, rising up a great while before day, someone say before day, he went out and departed into a solitary place. Someone say solitary place. And there prayed. Solitary place is a place where there is no noise. Somebody may say, I can do that in my room. Listen, retreat is different from morning devotion. I feel now. I have, listen, my room, 
my room where I sleep. I came back from a retreat this morning. My room where I sleep is more comfortable than where I go for retreat. I have what I'm saying now. And let me explain that for you. Away from noise. Away from something that reminds you. You know, see, some of you, as if you are trying to do retreat in your house, hmm? you'll be seeing things that remind you of pain. All responsibility. All things you are. Something, suddenly you just discover that, God, this, thing, this fan is no more working. Oh, what am I going to do? So it reminds you. So you have to go to a solitary place a psychologically, physically, and spiritually. Psychologically is that. Go to a place where there is no psychological. It's a place you don't have responsibility for. For example, when you go to the mountain, is it your responsibility? <laughs> is mountain your responsibility? Somewhere that does not disturb your mind. Solitary place. Some of you, your home it cannot be the place. Because you may be at home while you are praying, somebody is blaming you outside. It can't be a solitary place. Quiet, please. Ah, I want to rush, but I feel a bit guilty if I don't explain some things. Somebody will now say, when I go on a retreat, I, I, somebody told me that I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. What should you do? When you go on a retreat, switch off your phone. Because when you leave your phone on, you are not alone. All it takes, you see, you are, you are too exposed for the devil. All it takes to do is for somebody just call you to ask how you are doing. Or a text message. Imagine you say you're on a retreat, you're on WhatsApp. Is that a retreat? Go on a retreat. So it could be once in a month, or once in two months. I mean, some, it can't be two months, two weeks, I mean. Because when you leave it to once in two months, you're almost gone. So like once in a month or once in two weeks, you set a place where you go to retreat. Are you following me to this point now? Number four, maintain a flammable heart. I'm rushing so that we can pray. Maintain a flammable heart. Mm. Job chapter 14, 7 to 9. Job 14, 7 to 9. Your fire. Let it burn down upon us, oh God. Let it burn down upon us. Your fire. Just fire. Let it burn down upon us, oh God. Let it burn down upon us. Your fire. Revive our fire. Just fire. Refresh your fire, your fire. For there is hope for a tree, if it be cut down, that it will sprout again, and that the tender branch thereof will not cease. Keep going. Through, I mean, though the root thereof wax old in the earth, though it wax old, as like the prayer life is going down. My brain is like, the thing is wasn't cold. Don't worry, don't worry. And the stock thereof die in the ground. Some of us are in this kind of state now. Your prayer life is somehow. Even when you speak in tongues, there's a way it's sounding. It's like the thing is dry. Don't worry. <laughs> there's a way it works. There's a way it works. Let me show how it works. Yet, this is how it works. This is a secret. Yet. Through the scent of water, it will bud and bring forth buffs like a plant. It will bud. Scent. Someone says scent of water. I was in that situation one of those times. You see, when we talk about people saying that my prayer life is going down, I have had experience in several times. I'm not a superman, who, you know, sir. So I'm not a superman. Maybe that will help me help, you know. Several times. You, like, blah, 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 the things. Oh, what's going on? But I needed, a, I needed a scent of water. So one of the, there was one time when my, you know, I was in school then. 
The devil is a liar. You just speak Bible, they will just be looking somewhere. Have you experienced that before? What is going on? Shut up. Uh, so, I was walking on the road one day. Uh, I was walking on the road. In one of those, my, you know, those when they just begin, began to wash cold. I was walking on the road one day and there was a message playing in a nearby church, Deeper Life Church. And the Blef Kumui was preaching. I was just passing. Just hearing the voice. I, God knows I didn't know what I was preaching. I just heard the voice. Just hearing the voice of a general. He reminded me that this is where I belong. <sighs> that is the night, my ideal realm. Shata bakata kata kata bakata. The scent of water. Laka chapakato. Shata kata bata. I just know that oh men hear that voice. That's an ideal realm where you belong. So that's why what the devil does is that when he wants to finish you for life, is that he isolates you to desolate you. So he just makes sure you don't hear any sound. Sometimes it could be it could be a sound of music, that sound. When your prayer life is going to just look for water, scent of water. So, in case of those moments in my life, because some once in a while they didn't the show forth, show forth your prayer life begin to, you know. So, I used to keep those waters around. Some of them, I, I have some list of songs. When I hear them, I say, hmm, this one, keep it. I just keep it there. I hear another one that is good, I just keep. When that thing starts coming, I just play it. I just play it. Sometimes, one of the, the parts that works for me most, it, it may be different from yours. You know, when we have worship and word feast and we have those times of soakings you remember those songs that set us on fire i go to get them so as i listen to them i remember the fire that came on the day of that program Are you this one now? so psychologically i begin to tune into that atmosphere then it sets my fire on again i get up there flammable heart I, I need to let you know that if you keep it too long, you don't look for water that could set you on fire. I understand when I say water, I know I'm using a metaphor now. The scent of water. A time come, your heart grows so cold. The Bible says, don't be drunk with wine, wherein is in essence, but be filled with the spirit. What does it mean to be filled? To be a, a, a somebody who's a drunkard is different from someone who just took alcohol. How do you know a real drunkard is that at a smell of alcohol the guy is gone? I don't know. So he knows that this guy is poor, but he's always drunk. No, he doesn't need to take much, just a little. Because already filled, a little drop, the thing overflows. So, so, so you know, someone that is now it has reached that level, somebody will now sing, just for you know, mm, this guy is gone because just a drop. But somebody, somebody will need to take like one hour because the thing is already dehydrated. And the longer you stay away, the longer it takes to fill you. <laughs> so that's why almost every time, stay around, stay around. Um, uh, it was Kenny Hagen that was he was explaining something about breaking through the veil. There could be a veil here, and you are here from here to the veil could be five minutes. So it could take you five minutes to break in. Somebody's own could be 10 minutes. Somebody's could be 30 minutes. It depends on how long. Somebody's could be. So the Bible now said that pray without season. And in fact, without reason. Why you have to do that is that it keeps you close. So, for instance, it comes to a place where there's a need for a supernatural manifestation. Or you just need two minutes or three minutes of pressing the spirit. Like you have entered. You have entered. Because you are always around. So, on the road, shut up. Just between your bedroom to the, 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 the bedroom or toilet, shut up. Why? To stay around. To stay around. Because the day the devil appear in the wilderness, eh? You may not have one hour to pray. <laughs> you may not have one hour. 
So the reason some people have problems is that when we were and come, ah, go, 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 go. things will not happen. So what do you do? Stay around. Intentionally, it's not prayer meeting. If you have to wait for prayer meeting to be on fire, you would have you would have been quenched before prayer days. You will be so cold that you will not even like prayer meeting again. I even notice by now. Number five, encounters and beckonings of the spirit. They can fan you to flame. If you study Matthew chapter 17, 1 to 23. And maybe perhaps they just look go through Hebrews chapter 12, 22 to 23. Hebrews chapter 12, 22 to 23. Pull me to the deep, pull me to the deep, where you're in control. Oh, Spirit, please pull, pull me to the deep, pull me to the deep, where you're in control. Yeah, 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 and unto the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem, and to an innumerable company of angels, to the general assembly and church of the firstborn, which are written in heaven, and to God and to the judge of all, and to the spirits of just men made perfect. If you study Matthew chapter 20, chapter chapter 17 1 to 21 you will saw how jesus had an encounter please follow me carefully how jesus had an encounter with elijah and with moses someone say encounters i can't say encounters encounters are beckonings of the spirit where for instance <laughs> you begin to see yourself with some generals in the dream. These are pointers of your ideal realms. I remember some time ago, that was 2000 and, 2011, I had an encounter. I saw Ben Hinn, Pastor Chris Oyakulome. I don't think by that time they have said doing ministry together. 2011. And I saw myself lying behind, in between them. When I came back, I said, oh boy, these are heavy people. I have had a series of encounters of manifestations. See myself manifest. Several of them, may not be able to share down. I'm sharing my personal encounters so that you can relate with yours. Those things are showing you that that is where you belong. So whenever you notice that your fire is about going down, you just remember, no, I am beyond this. So, there are times that you don't even pray, you begin to see them. God is telling you, remember. Remember. Encounters. Angelic encounters. Encounters the spirits of just men. All of these things, they can boost your fire. So, somebody will now say, I, I used to see several of these persons in my life. Not thing to do is that whenever you are seeing some generals in your, in your revelation, go and study about them. Go and study about them and understand their ordinances. Understand their ordinances. For instance, Smith Ugosworth was a prayer man. So when you see Smith, Smith Ugosworth in your revelation, you should know what it means. Catherine Kuhlman was a woman of intimacy. You should know what it means. So you notice that there's a way your life doesn't start seeing Ketrim Kuman. It could be a pointer that, hey, your intimacy level is going down. Encounters. There are exposures. Father of 
your spirit right here, oh. Spirit of the just man. First man. We are here, oh. We are here in the church of the first born. We are here, oh. We are here. Here we are, Briefly, just pray this briefly. Besa de Balatoshka, Vendom Blends of Anda Bagadoshka, Sivada Vila Tosa of Anda Bagara, Sada Vila Tosa of Bagara, Leto Blends of Anda Bagadoshka, Pagada Bagaros of Anda Bagarosa, Sada Bagaros of Anda Bagara, Lessivadoshka de Banda Balatosa. Veletosa van de Balatoska, Kapakarosa van de Magarosa, Pelis Sivanda Balatoska, Sivanda Magarosa. The spirits of the just men, the first born from the dead, the father of our spirits, we are here. Oh. Spirits of the just men, the firstborn from the dead, the father of our spirits, we are here. Oh. We are here. Oh. We are here in the church of the firstborn. We are here. Oh. We are here, here we are. The spirit and the bride, the beast and the angels, the general assembly, we are here. Oh. The spirit and the bride, the beast and the angels, the general assembly, we are here. Oh. We are here. Oh. We are here in the church of the first one. We are here. Yeah. We are here. Here we are. On our heart. We are here. The bridegroom, the only mediator, the fourth man, the fire, we are here. Oh, ah, the spirit of the bridegroom, the only mediator, the fourth man, the fire, we are here. Oh, ah, we are here. Oh, we are here. In the church of the first one, we are here. Oh, yeah. We are here. 
Bible speaking on how Jesus was praying and groaning that his sweat, the drop of his sweat was like that of blood was groaning there are two fuels in the spirit, the fuel of tears and the fuel of sweat if you cannot shed tears, shed sweat as the Kaya was about dying and uh, God now sent the prophet Isaiah go and tell him that I have heard his prayer and I have seen his tears Hezekiah fueled his prayer with sweat, with tears Jesus with sweat intentionally you have to learn to pray and groan until you fuel your fire in the realm of the spirit tears and sweat are fuels. They are fuels. Today we are going to release fuels. You will pray until something happens. The baptism of the spirit is not enough. You must fan it to flame. You must fan it to flame in prayer. Listen, consistent prayer. And we shall give ourselves to consistent prayer. Praying continually. Continually. Prayer and fasting are cardinals. Listen, carefully. Early this year, when I was giving instructions, I gave instructions that everyone in Sophia Foundation must intentionally have a plan to fast in fact during marathon i said that if you have if you count no i need to explain this i feel trust me i feel a bit guilty if i speak up up and you don't understand now how many days of the year do we have 300 less than 366 when you divide it into into two what do we have 108 one than what 83 and I was saying in the marathon that if after calculating the numbers of your, your, your the days of your fasting in a year and it's not up to 123, 183 you are behind you are behind actually my real guys are on fast throughout this year throughout this year and I explained how to do those fast for instance it may, it may not be 6 to 6 you can register your presence in the spirit from 6 to 12. Right, sir? Then sometimes from 6 to 1, sometimes from 6 to 2. Then in between, you can just do some style of fasting like food fast or, else, or you go eat. But make sure that throughout, that you register your name in the realm of the spirit with fast. 6 to 12, 6 to 1. But for you to now stay in the whole year, when we calculate your day of fasting, just 20, my friend, you are gone. You are gone now. There is no explanation for that. In, in the whole year, are you better than Jesus? The same Jesus that fast for 40 days, the same Jesus, you know, see, some of, some of the things we are praying for, they do not come except by prayer and fasting. He said, this kind of thing, you know, this kind of thing, all this kind of religious guys are blowing here. Leave! Leave! <laughs> The disciples, nothing was happening. You see what happened? They forget this kind of thing. This kind of thing <laughs> is by prayer and fasting, it's not by blowing hot air. 
you're, you're pushing people, pushing people. Stop pushing people, my friend. Go this kind thing. Imagine Jesus saying, I said, Lord, I have the power of Elijah or God go and fast. Elijah for 40 days. I have the power of Moses 40 days. For you to stand on the mountain with them, it was covered the 40 days. 40 days. I heard people of my kind. Somebody once said, for, for 72 hours, like a kakapakata, shut up, kakata, He was finding it. He was finding it. 42 hours. I mean, 72 hours. Man. I know that one of my guys started, started growing fat overnight. I like, what, what happened? Why are you growing fat overnight? He said, actually, he was not explaining to me that he has been on 1,000 days fast. So when he started eating in the morning, the body just reacted. One, I didn't hear the body reacted. I, what was it in my head? 1,000 days? My friend, nothing happened by happenstance. If you click, like, oh, God, go and add fasting to that thing. A consistent prayer. Consistent prayer. And, and I gave instruction here this year for those who were not able to follow that time. I, I'm letting you know now. One hour at least. Jesus said, You guys cannot wait ah, with me just for one hour. That means that was before the coming of the Holy Ghost. That means the minimum standard as at that time was one hour. So if you say you have the Holy Ghost, I cannot pray up to one hour, my friend. Are you born again? Because when, when, when the Holy Ghost came, their things would have doubled. So, all my guys now, they know what to do. By four in the morning, that's not yet prayer. Shut up, set up to five. Just one hour. Then from five to six, you can now begin prayer. Consistently. Those of you that are waiting for fire to just come through, you're not going to relax. It's not for you. This thing is forever. Forever. Like this morning, I did like two hours before I started praying. For two hours. That is not yet prayer. After that, then I can pray. think Jesus was just saying, look about, thank you Lord, bless, and the, the, the sweat was like aggressive prayer. No, see, no, nobody should lie to you. See, I could not, I didn't have time to explain about fire extinguishers. Doctrines could mess you up. I met some guys that were fire brands that time. Fire brands. These guys would be you know, they'll go around the place, like, oh, shut up. One day they went to hear one message like that. They said, they yapping themselves. Oh, those days of ignorance. Ah, now Jesus has done it. Oh, we don't need to do Those guys, I just saw them quench, sharp, sharp. Ah, don't listen to those things. It's not by shout, my friend. One man said, if you don't pay, you don't go pay God. They, if, have you seen a soldier doing, and sit down, kneel down. Have you ever heard a soldier, a soldier man, saying, kneel down. anger there's no feminine prayer life there's no feminine prayer life because the demons that are, that, that are coming for men are also coming for ladies so everyone must learn to groan number seven spiritual ambition Spiritual ambition. And Elijah asked Elijah, What do you want? This thing can fire your prayer life. What do you want? See, those that were, I don't know, it was on marathon where I was sharing that. One of the things that keep people like us praying is anytime we are praying and I'm all, I want to be tired, I just think of my life. <laughs> when I think of the issue of my life and the things I am trusting God for. The dimensions I'm trusting God for. The thing boosts me up again. But you know, when you don't have any spiritual ambition, your ambition is just to be a medical doctor or an engineer. So when they are praying, what, 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 that's the connection between engineering and prayer. So you just water down. But when you think of 
how that your shadow will heal the sick how that a man I heard, I read that's why you need to read testimonies of great men they can fire you up great testimonies of great men how a man is just coming to a land he, he just coming to a land people kilometers ahead started getting healed and that thing has not happened yet as long as it has not happened I have to keep praying I have to keep fasting now somebody say but how can I pray how can I pray long what well, is the easiest way pray in the Holy Ghost someone say pray in the Holy Ghost building up yourself on your most holy faith praying in the Holy Ghost there are different benefits of praying in the, in the spirit glory be to God we need to pray number one one of the reasons to speak in tongues number one speaking in tongues number one is speaking to God number one benefit is speaking to God you speak to God when you speak in tongues in computer there's what we call high level language we have what we call machine code now machine code are in binaries computer does not understand English you understand zeros and ones so when you are writing in English it has to convert it or translate it into a machine code are you following me to this point now are you following me to this point and the and the fact the more it is in machine code the faster it works hmm. God does not understand English God understands spiritual language it's called spirit code or spiritual codes so when you speak in English there has to be conversion and it takes time so the easiest way to have this done is just speak in machine code spiritual language spiritual code so when you for instance say Shata Bagatoskia this thing is a whole life situation that just combine like that so instead of saying father I pray for my great grandfather I pray for my sister that I say, I don't know, it's going to take time Shada Bagatoskia because one day with the Lord is like 1,000 days don't waste time because I have told you before that even Yoruba is deeper than English so now why would you not limit yourself with English speak in tongue you speak to God number two you confuse the devil he said who that speaks in tongue speak not unto man but speak mysteries 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 the best way to avert mystery, miseries is speaking mysteries. The best way to avert miseries is to speak mysteries. Don't let the enemy hear what you have in your mind. You stay in your company. Oh God, I pray that this as I am going to arrive. May I pass? They just heard you now. You, you are the one that announced yourself. <laughs> you just announced yourself. What should you do? Confuse them. They don't know what, what is in your heart. They didn't know. They didn't know that one. So this is it. You are going to write the exam. Is in your heart. After meditating on what you want to do, you have released the job. I know. But when you say, "Oh God, I pray," that, you know, my sister that is just getting that just getting admission. You know, you have finished yourself. Just switch. When the enemy that is coming for you is speaking incantation. And you start speaking English, they have finished you. Speak mysteries. Mysteries versus mysteries. In life, neutrality is not permitted. Don't be neutral. You are either in a secret court or in a secret place. Either speak in tongues or in saying incantation. But the different the problem is that if you are in a secret court, somebody that is in the higher one will finish you. Or if you are speaking in incantation, somebody that is speaking in the higher one. Will but when you are speaking in tongues, no one is ahead of you because you are speaking the language of God. And nobody is ahead of God. When you speak, nobody is ahead of God. When you are in a secret place, there is no secret court that is ahead of that. And the devil knows. Shut up, Akata, Father. Shut up, Akata. You are releasing mixiles into the spirit. And no matter the amount of alcohol the devil takes, it can never be the most high. Bekata, bakata. Shut up, Speaking don't confuse the devil. Number three benefit is 
self edification he that speaks in unknown tongue edifies himself some of you say i am easily de depressed i need somebody to encourage me david say i encourage myself in the lord how do you encourage yourself in the lord? edify yourself this is the easiest way for self motivation when you speak in tongues you are engaging in auto motivation you, are, you, you encourage yourself in the lord so you now stay in your room somehow you know one of my friends will say that, that you know she will just stay and be, and, be, and be crying what's the problem I, I don't know i'm just depressed i'm just depressed come on cockroaches are patient on you already cockroaches are patient on you already the easiest thing to do switch what you do that you are edifying yourself because it takes an edified man to edify the body he that speaks in tongue edifies himself he that prophesies edifies the church but it takes an edified man to edify the body until you are revived you can't revive others number four benefits is boosting your prayer power and utterance boosting your prayer power and utterance and i need to explain this I, oh glory be to god listen when when listen carefully sometimes when you want to pray and sleep starts coming you know the normal thing now don't kneel down <laughs> and all lie down you have surrendered yourself for the enemy <laughs> don't lie down <laughs> at that point shut up now you say but you are not led by the spirit if you were to be led by the spirit it would be too cold to be led so in now 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 this is how it works who knows lister engine who knows lister engine now when you are use, using lister engine and you just do small and you put it on gear will it work force at that point it's mechanical shut up holy spirit has not taken over like it's you that is doing your own thing like shut up until gear enters at that point you plan for two hours but when you look it's now four but when the holy ghost has not taken over maybe you say let me do for one hour so you don't know, think that maybe you have covered one hour when you look just 10 minutes what should you do keep going keep going the idea is get to where you can put gear so the the reason for this tongue is to help you to pray is the easiest way to switch someone say if i don't feel the only goes on me i cannot speak in tongues be there now it's not what you feel it's not what you feel when you have, you see, when you have died, your spiritual life is died, that you feel it. This thing is to help you feel. Speaks in, speak in tongues when you feel led. Speak in tongues when you don't feel led. Speak in tongues when you, ah, you, you, you feel like praying. Speak in tongues when you don't feel like praying. Even when you are in the mood or not, speak in tongues. Several times I'm not in the mood. And when the engine, when the engine is on gear, you are no more in charge. I can't forget one day I was in the in a taxi when I was working at Lagos some time ago. You know, first of all, the thing was boiling in me from office. You are, you are not shouting, no, but you know that. Oh no, what I'm saying. <laughs> mm. You know, you know, there are times that you fire yourself with revelation. Shut up. You know, let me tell you, I do this thing psychologically. Sometimes I, I could literally imagine myself on fire. Not that I'm on fire, but imagine it on. It's, it's, some, some people are thinking evil. You think fire. So imagine myself on fire. Shut up. Mm. So the thing was boiling like that from office. So when I was in the in the car and there were other passengers, so I just remember people around. Hey, but how does it concern me? You know, my life is my life. I even know you 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 intentionally number five speaking in tongues releases light, the entrance of that word. It's not the Bible, 
not studying the Bible. The entrance. You can be studying the Bible without entrance. But so you know, you're not reading, reading the Bible. You notice that the thing is too, it's not clear. The thing you know is like a newspaper. Add tongues to it. So add tongues to it. Give me a Bible. Give me a Bible. Who has cover, half cover Bible? You know. So as you are holding it, the thing is not opening. Shut up. God standed in the congregation of the mighty. He judged among the gods. God standed in the congregation of the mighty. You are praying until the thing opens up. What happens is that as you begin to read, you are reading yet. By the time comes, you gain entrance. Because your blessing is not in the Bible, it's in the word of God. Now, it is where you gain entrance. Light. That's how you get Rema. So you hold the scripture. Sometimes you now put it in your mind and start speaking in tongues with it. You put it on your mind. Is somebody, are you, are you getting, are you following me? You put it on your mind. I'm trying to help someone until the thing opens up. So sometimes you can carry it to office. Carry that scripture. Take it to office. And you know, they may say oh, you are mad, okay, but you're relaxed. <laughs> it also stirs up the gift of the spirit, it also opens up the spirit of wisdom. Spirit of wisdom. When people are talking, talking, who has a suggestion here? What you are doing is you are opening the, the well of wisdom. When you talk, they say, ah, where do you get it from? You got it from there. Number seven, number six, outbreak of the spirit of grace and supplication. Outbreak of the spirit of grace and supplication. In Ze Zechariah chapter 12, verse 10, it's talking about Paul upon the house of David and upon the habitat of Israel, the spirit of grace and of supplication. Grace and of supplication. How does it work? How does it work? As you initially, when you start, like I explained to you, if nothing may happen, if the prayer life may be hard, on the spirit of grace and supplication comes. Before you know, the prayer life has boosted. Your plan for 30 minutes is already one hour because the spirit of grace has been poured. So sometimes you have to pray until that spirit of supplication comes. There are two types of prayer. There's a prayer before and prayer in. Prayer before is when prayer you pray before you receive the grace to pray. What is all that I just said now? Prayer you pray before you receive the grace. Some people they just pray before they get to that point, they have stopped. And for the rest of their life, they live cold lives. You imagine me now. The devil wants to oppress me. Now, oh, some of you, may, you don't imagine it in fact. <laughs> It can happen. Now I'm oppressed. In fact, I'll be depressed. Like, how? How? Listen to me now. Listen to me. Listen to me. When, when, it, when you do like that, and the spirit of grace and supplication comes, don't stop. When you stop, you have the spirit. And there are times that you didn't even plan to pray. Suddenly, an urge comes listen some of you here you are the gatekeepers of your families and the devil has planned something for your family and god and god cannot pray for you get it god cannot pray for you i know that the solution to that problem is prayer why does i see give this guy a grace to pray now give this guy the grace to pray to save the family so maybe you just woke up in the morning the thing just came. You just have this urge to pray. Then I say, mm, don't worry, in the evening I'm going to pray. But then the grace is gone. What should you do? Activate it. Shut up. Shut up. Sometimes you don't even know why. For we know not how to pray. The spirit. One of the things only he does that he help us solve the issues unknown, unknown issues. Tomorrow. Do you know what's going to happen tomorrow? Do you know what's going to happen tomorrow? Do you know what's going to happen tomorrow? Do you know what's going to happen to you tomorrow? How are you going to pray for tomorrow? But when you pray in the Holy Ghost, so sometimes you say, Oh God, 
I need 10k now, John Abi. <laughs> I need 10k. Like that. But, but you between us, I don't need 10k. Holy Ghost saying, God, don't mind him. What he needs is preservation for tomorrow because there's an accident that is planned for him tomorrow. But he's asking for 10k. We know not how we ought to pray, but a spirit intercedes for us. So, so when you sometimes when you have the fear of unknown, you don't know what future holds for you. What should you do? Pray the prayer with un, unknown tongue. Unknown tongue. Because you are having issues of unknown of, or the fear of unknown. Pray what you don't understand. Sometimes when you are faced with battles, you don't understand. Pray prayers you to don't understand. To pray last time, release of power when you pray the Holy Ghost, you release power. Power, do not miss is released for manifestation. Power, this cause is released. Might, how does it work? This thing works for me so much. There are times when I'm going for a program, I'm tired. What should you do now? The spirit can be willing, and the flesh is weak. When you have that kind of situation, impose the spirit on the flesh. When you begin to pray, you notice that there's a supernatural strength that comes. It's called mind. Mind. You can also receive kratos. Authority. No, no, I want to explain. Boldness. Dominion. So when you're having fear, fear. Maybe someone is sick, they say, come and, come and pray for the person. Then your heart is start, start shaking somehow. What do you do? You need to invoke that other part, the Kratos. Lagata, bagata, until dominion comes. Have you noticed, Emmy, that whenever you pray very well, you have boldness? Huh? When you stop praying, there is this kind of fear. Oh God, do you like fear? Then pray. Pull me to the deep. Pull me to the deep. Now, since we have used some time to pray, let me just give you 30 minutes to, to kabash. This is what is going to happen. There will be stirrings in the spirit. Some of you have not been able to stretch. Some of you are running on low tank. Your tank is low in the spirit. Let's feel it now. Pull me to the deep. Are you ready? Where you are in control. Some of you may need a partner to just help you. Spirit, please pull. Pull me to the deep. How about? Pull me to the deep. Where you are in control. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can somebody begin to speak what you don't understand? Can you speak what you don't understand?
Let's go. Silence. There's fire everywhere here now. The Lord is enhancing organs of the spirit. Secreting sensitivity, susceptibility. Functionality in the spirit. So there are things the enemy has planted in us that have not shown forth before now. But the vipers are coming out. The vipers are coming out. And don't blend so he let over he can do Listen. One of the things the devil uses to attack people is that he makes sure. He takes them away from where fire is burning so that it will be too comfortable in them. That's what the still the devil does. But for those of you that are inside, the, 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 this place is too hot for the enemy to reside. After the count of three, whatever is not of God will be shaken out is a moment of deliverance. Hey, I, I. One! I, I. After I shout three, you begin to speak in unknown tongues. Those who are not baptized receive the baptism. And whatever is in you, whether it's sickness, disease, addiction, whatever it is, after the count of three, that thing is shaking out. I, two, just five. Let it burn on upon us. Let it burn on upon us. Your fire. Just fire. Let it burn on upon us. Let it burn on us. Your fire. Free in the name of Jesus. Laga balakos. Aya galago balita. Aya litu balita. And la goza. And la gala. Out! 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 Fire! Fire! Your fire! Let it burn on upon us over. Let it burn on your fire. Just fire. Let it burn. Fire. Fire. Let it burn.
badesha bada badesha tere badi subila bada badisha kaneri bosha bate katela vaza tiza batale eya makote levina mani amana katote dizo si abata dada eshe kena mana na desha ika bada desha pele na di kia mana mana na de ya kosia ashi kapata ya rebe kosa tada baba baba Wherever you are, just begin to tell God, say, I receive. Say, I receive. Say, I receive. Say, I receive. Can you shout it like you mean it? Say, I receive. I receive. I receive. I receive. I receive. I receive. Shout it aloud. Shout it aloud. Shout it aloud. Shout it aloud. Yes, yeah. Yes, yeah. Shout it aloud. Shout it aloud. Say, I receive. I receive. I receive. Begin to say the things you are receiving. The angels of heaven are in the Yakov Shaka, they don't be distributing kids. Begin to receive what you want from the Lord. Say, I receive my healing. I receive my breakthrough. I receive. I receive. I receive. I receive. I receive with fire. 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 Extra cover up and go. Tell him again, baby, baby. I receive with fire. In the name of Jesus, I declare upon your life, everyone here, the fire you just generated right now. It will not go down. It will not go down. It will not go down. In the name of Jesus, the fire of the Holy Ghost will be so much around you that when you get home, everything in your house that is not of God, everyone in your house that is not of God, everything in your life uh, that has been planted by the devil, whatever is in your compound, that has not been planted by the heavenly father because of the so much fire inside of you when you step your leg on that place the fire will so burn in the name of jesus christ i declare upon your life everyone that the devil has already started planning to be along your way tonight so that when you get home Somehow, some of you, when you get home, people will start annoying you. Some of you, when you get home, the devil has positioned somebody to distract you from what you have received. Hey, yeah, by the virtue of what is upon this altar, right now I declare, hey, I excuse you from those plans. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, everyone positioned in your life to quench your fire. Today, I declare that such person is taken away from your life in the name of Jesus. Every relationship, every friendship, every relationship, every friendship, everyone who will be the sorcerer of your troubles from answers, I command you separated. I declare you separated from such person in the name of Jesus Christ. Your fire will not go down. Your fire will not go down. Your fire will not go down. No more excuses for failure. No more excuses for failure. No more excuses for failure. For men's fault, you go out to manifest power. You go out to heal the sick. You go out to make the blind see. You go out to make the crippled walk. In the next encounter, when we will be coming here, people will come with their wheelchairs. Hey, Laba, I say in the next encounter, when we will be coming here, people will be coming with their, with their, with their, with their walking stick. I said in the next encounter, when we will be coming here, people will be coming with their wheelchairs because one of you has healed them. Did you hear what I said? Because one of you has healed them. Because one of you has healed them. In the name of Jesus. Just lift your hands and begin to bless the name of the Lord. Lift your hands. Thank you. Your fire. Thank you, Jesus. Just bless the name of the Lord wherever you are. Lord, we are grateful. 
thank you for that which you have done. Thank you for that you have done. You are my all in all. My all in all. The song of the ages. You are. You are my all in all. My all in all. Thank you, Jesus. The song of the ages. You are. The most beautiful, and I see a lady, and I see a lady, Jehovah, many oh, the to level they are living here too hot for the devil in the name of Jesus too hot for oppression in the name of Jesus too hot for addiction in the name of Jesus we we'll hear testimonies of divine encounters thank you father Blessed be your name, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Blessed be your name. Uh, before we share the grace, listen to this announcement. Please stand wherever you are. We are going now. Please stand wherever you are and listen to this announcement. Every edition of the encounter for this year is fireful. Make sure you don't miss anyone. Make sure you don't miss anyone. Next month, when you are coming, invite someone. Invite someone. 
And uh, I also want to encourage you to download teachings that are ongoing. This is our year of the supernatural. So intentionally, I'm engaging on teachings on supernatural. Make sure you download on our blog. Is that okay? And um, for those who want to be part of this, uh, every year, actually, we used to call people forth who want to be our partners for the year. But we have not been able to do that for this year. And because of time, we may not also be able to call people out for that this year. But you want to be... Last year, we had people who came out and said, throughout last year and even more, they will be making contributions to the encounter monthly. Monthly. I need to also announce to you that this meeting is running, uh, our budget is running in millions already. It's more running in millions. When I say millions, I mean millions. So, and all it takes is your 5,000, your 10,000, your 2,000 or thereabout, but make sure you are part of this. If you want to do that, uh, uh, you meet our, because since there is no time, you meet any of the Levites members, this is, a, this is a person in charge of those who are making those contributions. You could meet her or any of the Levites or the protocol. They just re drop your name and your details with them. They will pass across the information to you if you want to be a part of it. Maybe you write the amount you want to participate with every month. And I am so sure that your life will not remain the same. I say your life will not remain the same. So um, you could see that this month alone, we have how many buses? About seven different buses conveying people to the encounter. Do you know what that means? Because about seven different buses. So from Obangedi alone, we have about three different buses, right? It's about three. Let's celebrate them. They are doing massive job from, from FC, Okene, from um, JPTS, from Technical, from APU, from, I know, uh, Edumo, from which one am I left? I also discovered that we had a new team that joined us today. I'm trusting God that next month they should also be coming their boss from KPTS or Sarah too, right? Victor, right? Or Sarah. Please celebrate them. They also came. Our target, our target before the end of this year is that we'll be having 50 different bosses coming for the encounter. Yes. We are still at seven, so we have a long way to go. We have other schools to cover. I want you to be part of this. And we are trusting God to provide free buses to them. So I want you to be part of this monetarily. As God is reaching out to people, you will see a change in your life, a turn around in your life. It, is, that, is that the other announcement before we share the grace? Okay, quickly, for every first time, and please don't go. If you're a first time, I don't go there. Hospitality unit will attend to you at the back there. And also, if you could receive, if you collected the slip from the I testify, please submit it to any of the I testify attendants you meet. Please submit that slip. It's very important. And also, when you have, if you have a testimony, you can meet them and share your testimony, or you can collect their contacts from them so that you can share it with them online. Thank you. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, did you sweat today? Tell your neighbor, did you sweat? What is the answer? So I, I tell your neighbor, I like neighbors that, that have fuels. Neighbors that have fuels. Neighbors that are on fire. I am glad you have been enhanced. With higher sensitivity. Higher ruggedity. Higher functionality. Higher sensitivity, higher susceptibility, higher pliability, higher ability. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life, and you shall dwell in the presence of the Lord forever and ever. Till next edition of the encounter. That you have shown mercy, you have shown me mercy, you have shown me mercy. Hey, I'm the one that you have shown me mercy. Hey, you have shown me mercy, Lord. You have shown.
showing me mercy. Now listen to this. Listen to this. I'm the one that you have shown me fire. You have shown me fire. You have gave me fire. Hey, I'm the one. Say, I'm the one that you have shown me fire. You have shown me fire. Hey, you have shown me fire. Reggae, reggae, I'm the one. Say, I'm the one. You have shown me fire. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have shown me fire. You have shown me fire. You have shown me fire.